world which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light it says we are partakers of the inheritance of saints who are in the light we're not in babylon we're not in darkness and spiritually we have been translated look at verse 13 who has delivered us from the power of darkness he has not that he will he has delivered you already have you gone to sleep he has delivered you already verse 13 who has delivered us from the power of darkness and he has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son you understand this daniel was in the kingdom of babylon and then the kingdom of god was up there and from the kingdom of god an answer was sent to him between this kingdom and that kingdom the principalities and the parts of the air the kind of delay the angel bringing the answer but now he says we are translated and he has translated us from the kingdom of darkness and he has translated us into the kingdom of his son when the kingdom was him in the kingdom of the son and he is seated on the throne and we're seated with him that's why when we pray the answer will come your own answer tonight will come verse 14 in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins thank god our sins are forgiven i said our sins are forgiven first john first john chapter 5 reading from verse 14 and this is the confidence we have in him as you pray tonight i want you to have this in your mind you have confidence in the lord I said you have confidence in the Lord that if we ask anything, anything according to His will, what's His will? His promises. If we ask anything according to His will, what's His will? His provision. What's His will? His precepts, His prophecies and predictions. Whatever will bring praise unto Him. And the first prayers he prayed for the leper, I will be thou cleansed. For the one that was sick, I will be healed. That's his will. His past prayers. And then our prophet, a prophet. Anything that will profit us spiritually, materially, will profit us in a pilgrimage towards heaven. That's his will. If we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. In verse 15, and if we know, that he hear us whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him we have i said we have i have i have you have it in jesus name first corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 first corinthians chapter 2 what do you mean from verse 9 but as it is written, I has not seen. What your eyes have never seen, they're coming your way. Ears have not heard. What your ears have never heard, you are going to receive. Neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. We're going to get deeper in the Lord, and the Lord is going to give us great deep things in Jesus' name. The benefits of Calvary, they are coming to you. The benefits of the cross of Christ, they are coming your way. And the blessings of the Lord will overshadow, will, will kind of, will overwhelm your life even tonight in Jesus' name. Psalm 68, Psalm 68, verse 19, Psalm 68, verse 19, Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. 
Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth me with benefits. Are you there? Lord of blessing. Lord of benefits. Loads of answered prayer. In your mind, translate, be transferred and be translated out of where you are and see yourself seated. Imagine yourself, visualize yourself seated by the right hand of majesty on high, seated with the Lord Jesus Christ. And then there's not a great distance between you and that God. Just close your eyes and say, Lord, that's what I need, that's what I need, that's what I need. And Jesus, you put those prayers in the hands of Jesus. You say, Lord, I desire this. I need this. I need this spiritually, materially, in my family. I need this. I need this. Let your prayers pass on into the hands of Jesus and then by the throne Jesus will present you to the Father and right there he'll transfer it back to you prayers are answered tonight yokes are broken tonight sicknesses are healed tonight oppressions are taken away tonight impossibilities are possible tonight let's rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer remember we're now at the throne room of God and we're making intercession and praying. And we're passing those prayers into the hands of Jesus. Our high priest, our great high priest. You tell the Lord what do you want. What do you need? For you to be strong. For you to be mighty. For the power of the Lord to walk in your life. The Lord is going to do it. Just, just breathe that prayer to the Lord. And just tell the Lord, oh Lord, this is my need. Oh Lord, this is my desire. Oh Lord, this is my passion. Oh Lord, this is the provision you have provided. I'm asking for tonight. And the Lord will do it in your life. Open your mouth and pray unto the Lord. And say, Lord, here we are tonight. Here am I tonight. And I want you to do this for me. Are you saved? Praise the Lord. If you are still feeling the guilt, the condemnation of sin, remember, the Lord Jesus prayed for you already. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. That forgiveness is coming now. That salvation is coming now. Receive it. Accept it. He prayed for your sanctification. If you find that carnality within you, that Adamic nature within you, that tendency to fall, the tendency to do evil, the tendency to yield to the desires of the enemy. He prayed for your sanctification, purity, holiness of heart. You tell the Lord, O oh Lord, here am I, here am I, here am I, Lord. You have seized the spirit of fear, afraid of the future, afraid of the actions and activities of the enemy, afraid of a curse. Tell the Lord and transfer your prayer into the hands of Jesus and say, Lord, this is what I'm asking for, this is what I'm asking for, that's what I'm asking for, and transfer that into the hands of a great high priest and then the high priest will present it to the father seated on the throne and the lord will do it you're weak you feel your strength getting away from you tell the lord say lord strengthen me Power for this present hour. Tell the Lord and pass your prayers to the hands of Jesus. I say, Lord Jesus, I know you are making intercession for me and you're seated on the throne. This is what I'm asking. I pass it into your hand, pass it unto the Father. The answer will come immediately. Are you sick? Was the sickness was the name of the sickness? Jesus has a name. 
above every name. And you can tell the Lord, oh Lord, this is the name of the sickness. But I know you have a name above the name of this sickness. Heal me, Lord. Accept it. It's done. It's done. Yokes are broken. Afflictions are taken away. Oppressions are taken away. Pass those prayers into the hands of Jesus. And see Jesus presenting the prayer unto the Father. Because he's seated by his side. Believe it's done. If you have not received the power of the Holy Ghost, you've been saved, sanctified, but you don't have the power, the fire power, coming with fire to burn every chaff out of your life. Why don't you present that prayer before the Lord, Lord, and in the power of the Holy Ghost. And pass that prayer to the hands of Jesus. He will pass it to the Father, and the answer has come already. You have a challenge with any member of your family. That member of the family is in a condition that gives you a burden your heart mention his name mention her name and say Lord this is what I want for this person this loved one and pastor prayer to the hands of Jesus seated on the throne you will pass it to the father the answer has come This year that is coming to an end will not end before the answer will come. You will not go into the new year with the old problem, the problem of the old year. The answer is here. The answer is here. The answer has come. Great God, mighty God. The God who answers prayer, He will answer your prayer. He has answered already. Just praise the Lord and thank the Lord that the Lord has answered your prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Have you prayed? I said, have you prayed? Have you asked for something definite and specific? If God gives you that thing, will you recognize that this is what I prayed for? He has given it to you. Why don't you just raise the hand to the Lord and praise to the Lord. Amen. Amen. From tonight, look for that thing because it's there already. Tomorrow you wake up, thank God for that thing because that thing is there already. Your soul, your spirit, your body, your family, your life, and your concern for somebody very close to you, the Lord has answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your people tonight. Thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ seated. On the throne of majesty on high. And Lord, we know every prayer that is prayed tonight will pass to the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus, we know you are presented to the Father. We have got the answer. Those who have not been saved, Lord, we believe they are saved in Jesus' name. The backslider has come back. You are forgiving their backsliding. You have restored the joy of salvation. And the peace of God is now in their hearts in Jesus' name. 
That's why I'm asking you for the removal of carnality and sanctification. Oh Lord, thank you because you have answered in Jesus' name. And those who are asking for the power of the Holy Ghost, we thank you because, Father, you have answered the prayer of Jesus at Great High Priest. And you have shed forth your power and the Holy Ghost upon your people tonight in Jesus' name. Lord, all those who have asked for healing of any pain, any sickness, any infirmity, we thank you because they are healed. From the top of your head to the tip of your toe, receive your healing in Jesus' name. Those who have been afraid of curse, all the curses, all the yokes are broken. All the mountains are removed. And Father, we thank you all those prayers that were prayed. Lord, remove this mountain. Lord, remove this sickness. Lord, remove this infirmity. Lord, remove these impossibilities. We pass them on to the hands of Jesus. He has passed them to the Father. And the Father immediately has answered our prayer. Oh Lord, we rejoice in the answer in Jesus' name. Lord, tonight as we go to sleep, we go to sleep with the joy of the Lord. With the assurance our prayers are answered. We wake up tomorrow morning with thanks and praises on our knees that God has answered our prayer. And the problems of this old year will not follow us to the new year. New life has come. New strength has come. New power has come. New joy has come. A new experience has come for everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, let your joy reign.